Please make it stop. Please, Jason. Jason, make it stop. The stars are talking to me. And we're back. we're back. I have tea now. He does, in fact, have tea now. And we, we're here with my favorite character, Ghost, Ghost of, of Student. My friend. I'm not your friend. Uh, you're definitely... <clears throat> did we just die? Did we... <laughs> did we die because we made a stupid choice? This guy? Again? Listen, I like that guy. I'm here to give you an important message. Ooh. Is it about lunch? No, it's not about... Why is everyone here? It's, 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 shut mean, up. Last, shut the up. last thing you tried to do was lunch. Shut up. <laughs> you must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. But I, okay. All you must do is murder... <coughs> <coughs> I was saying, to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... <coughs> Sorry, I think I still have some spice in my throat. It's fine, I'll work through... <coughs> to fulfill... <coughs> the prophecy... <coughs> you must... You feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> you come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth. Now it's gone. Forever! <laughs> you think to yourself, geez, I should pay attention better. Or I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Someday. Come on, it's time for lunch! Already? We were out for a while, man. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim, and your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. What? Today's lunch will be prepared... Via time competitive cook-off! <laughs> the level of the theatrics of these two is off the charts. Do they demand we stop, they stop wasting everyone's time, or step up and tell them, you're on? On the one hand, if we demand they stop wasting everyone's time, I might be able to find another kernel of truth. But... Didn't you have, like... I had a lot of them, but uh, most of them are basic, are smaller effects, but I've, I've got one for later, so we're okay. all fine. Uh, I think we should step up and tell them, you're on. A bit of lunchtime competition. <laughs> Why is Van Van jumping like he's in a musical? Um, uh, or is because he sliding he, down the table. Because he believes in life after love. At least somebody does. Count me in. If I had to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down, then so be it. I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool. Well, he's got some sick counter beats there. Good one, Van Van. And I like your gumption, Captain Crouch. Why do you guys look like you're on the same team now? Did I do something wrong, Colonel Sanders? I'll be watching your performance. No, seriously, Colonel Sanders, did I do something wrong? Which brings us to a kernel of truth. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders, in fact, cheated on his wife constantly. So much. In fact, in a, a biography of Colonel Sanders named... Colonel Sanders, uh, the American dream, as you would. Uh, Colonel Sanders' uh, niece, I believe, uh, said that his first wife, Josephine, did not want a sexual relationship, and so he found, quote, comforts elsewhere. <laughs> Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle <laughs> steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. <laughs> Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer! Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face. 
flashing the words, Timer ready! Oh my god. Colonel Sanders is still trying to grab the pause button. I did not, I did not put in these letters. These are what they decided to put in. This is not like when I put in the Final Fantasy song. This is, this is really what they decided. That's what I'm talking about! I stand corrected. The hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. Just like marriage, I read Colonel that Sanders. on the back of a Burger King box once. <laughs> and that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope it's a message, its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure. And now is my chance to shine. She has a knife. She has a knife with a chain on it. That is a, That's probably going to get in the way, right? Yeah, probably. That's not safe. I will... Jesus. That music change and that... I will defeat you myself. You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Are we making mashed potatoes again? I don't know. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Uh, uh, uh pick uh, four hundred. Is fair, right? I, I didn't even read the question. That's what? wrong. What? What was it? Get your head in the game. You're gonna need to season the chicken before you cook it. You don't know how Colonel Sanders' recipe is either, but you have an idea. He had 11. 11 herbs and spices. That's right, you might not know all of the ingredients yet, but at least you're headed in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. He doesn't actually wag his tail. It's, it, that would be demeaning. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind right. offers the most flavor? Uh, uh, gratitude? Tr uh, trust! No! no! I'm begging you to get it together! Get it? I'm a dog. It's... Never the wrong time for some dog jokes. It's always the wrong time for a dog joke. <laughs> I will fail you. Uh, next question. I'll read. Your class wins a room for you. Da, 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 da. Super survivor is stronger than you. You better pick up the pace if you don't want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on this, his advice and draw energy from that place. This seems like a great... No, now would be a great time to harness that energy, so where does it come from? A small town where big dreams are born? Oh, thank, God. Oh, thank right. God. This sounds like a good time to mention that Colonel Sanders left his home at the age of 13. Of course he did. <laughs> so that's a kernel of truth. <laughs> I'm still upset you have names for a name for this. Go on, keep going. You're not going to miss it. <laughs> you try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Silence? Sizzling. Or Fuck, I hit silence. Why? I was hitting sizzling and I'm, I'm at it. Don't make me get the spray bottle. I will get the spray bottle. I'll you spring beat this. the shit out of you. Is this the end? Yep. Try again. Try again. I'm just, I'm going to read the questions and you're going to answer them, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to read them out loud. Just focus on the three different answers. We've got to get this right. Okay, we're gonna look how really soon, and you're always in the main room. Blah, 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 blah. We'll just skip ahead. Oh, wait. We didn't. Oh, I accidentally clicked a different answer. Go ahead, whatever just happened. Yeah, stop getting your genres crossed. Don't you have some portable monsters to capture or something? Are Jason, you Jason, you were My playing Switch Pokemon. is on the bed. You were playing Pokemon. I need to eat if I'm gonna have the energy to sustain my education and pursue my dreams of being a master chef. Did we just uh, secede our chance? I don't know. How are any of us supposed to get anywhere if we're constantly fending off challenges from every know-it-all with an apron? Besides, I already brought my own lunch. Captain Crouch, you should have it. It will give you the energy you need to succeed. Miriam reaches out and presents a gift to you. My special grilled cheese <gasps> and tomato soup with chocolate milk to wash it down and tartlet for dessert. Oh my god! 
What is it? That's adorable. How am I supposed to eat that shit? You fucking the Do plates are edible. Okay. Plates are edible. Oh my god, that's a, I love tiny things. One of our friends, uh, Tanya, she makes tiny. She used to make tiny boxes out of like popsicle sticks. Oh yeah. They were so great. And I loved them. So you want you want a tiny grilled cheese like that? Oh my god, wouldn't I? I would eat it. It only takes about five seconds to eat Miriam's tiny food, but it's just what you needed for the motivation. You know what? I've learned enough for today. Let's battle. You learned nothing. This thing was both points for girls to step in. Surely, but aside from the madness, not enough students please settle down. This lunch from us, Okay, so okay, so we get to the same thing. It's just with a different route. Yeah, we fucked up. But, uh, alright, I'm gonna read the questions, you re you go about the answers. Alright, stand corrected. If you want a battle, you want it's battle, you'll get my be bestie can best the best of them, bestie. Best believe it! Hey, no, the best part <laughs> is my kid. Hey, 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 whoa, you okay. You not steal Mirim, my bit, okay? Miriam, 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 we're, we're in a place. Like a diamond, I was- I, I will defeat you myself! You guys are saying you made as much as great about day one, if I- Think fast if time runs down. All right. Uh, what temperature does water boil at? I put a Fahrenheit, so a Celsius? I guess. That's wrong, but okay. That's right! <laughs> but how would you even have gotten into the school without knowing that, Jason? Well, I'm thinking the Fahrenheit scale. 100 degrees Fahrenheit is when water starts to boil. Apparently not. I trust this. Winner gets to rub my furry belly. Let that be an enticing offer motivate you. That's such a weird thing to say. I'm gonna call human resources on you. He is not a human. He does not fall under human resources. I'm gonna call dog resources on you. They are all dogs. They would understand. <laughs> it's a it's a real it's a doggy dog. I world feel out sexually there. harassed by my professor. Well, he's a dog, so you're going to jail. He's not. You're gonna need to season that chicken before you cook it. So How many herbs and spices 11. did he say he had? Alright, good. That's right. Tail wagging intensifies! We got a basic steps going. What state of mind offers the most flavor? It's not. Did we do trust? It's not trust. We Didn't we pick trust last time? I don't know, but we got it right this time, so I don't care. That's right, you must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger. Uh, where, where did you come from? Uh, small tower, big dreams are born. That's right! That's right, Jason! Oh my god, we're making chicken! What is the sound of success? I'm thinking sizzling. What? It's bubbling? You notice Colonel I believe in you, Captain Crouch. You gotta stop breezing through all these. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders on clock a is, horse. Clack is ticking, clack is ticking, but dude. How, How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to fill a traditional? Right back in the competition. Oh no! No! He had to speed through that! No! One <laughs> is our cookbook, which would you take? What a hunk. I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focusing on the challenge? You're falling behind! Uh, I forgot the question. Gondola! What does that have to do with particular fried chicken and delicately based biscuits? Woof! Woof! You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station, I'll be on plating, plating elements on her dish. It's a colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss biscuit dough into a stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. <gasps> hey, yikes. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. You might not have any hands, but Captain Crouch does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. I've seen a lot of Great British Bake Off, and that is not true at all. There's an easy way and a hard way, and you don't get far by going the easy way. What the fuck are we supposed to do? <laughs> when you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your oh dough before it's over mixed, and now you don't have a hand. Good I've got job. a hook friend! Captain Crouch, now! Oh! 
Oh my god! I oh. cannot fast enough and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. Oh, Jesus! What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. You sold your business. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. It even had blood in it. Sweetheart. Look at your hat. I need human resources. Sweetheart. You simply can't go on. Ah, oh, it's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. I don't know how long we've been going. <laughs> Neither do I. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Captain Crouch's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy, doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. Mm, but I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared? Mm, maybe. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skip right to dessert. That's gonna make you fat. Hurtful? Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. There's no way she made that in the same time you made fried chicken. I was gonna ask Captain Crouch to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that... Pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. I still have a free hand. Nope, you have no hands. Colonel Sanders, you wouldn't mind lending your strong, steady hand? Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you find a delicate fried cheese croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelée. That was Ashley speaking, so I'm oh. offended. Keep going. I don't think we're at. I don't think we're at time yet. Colonel Sanders seems more intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate sauce. Oh. Hmm. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? What a dick. Oh, you! <laughs> As he places a sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Turn on lies the rage, rage you fatal. Put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. We've done a lot to Colonel Sanders by messing up a test that we didn't really know was happening before we came in here, so I really think we need to give him space. Internalize the rage, I feel. Your rage burns so intently within your eyes that they burst into flames. So now we're pressing a hand and two eyes. <laughs> That's right. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash. What? <coughs> they fall off your face. Which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow. Do it! <laughs> you run for the quad alone, to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. I'm so confused. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And then he's gonna cheat on her and he's gonna sleep with his... And then he's gonna sleep with me, but it's not gonna be right because we're not married. He's gonna sleep with his, his one of his waitresses from his original restaurant. That's a kernel of truth. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awesome, awful person. It's true. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Literally. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. And you should not be spontaneously <laughs> combusted. That's a really dangerous to have around here, actually. Like, I know I have a couple of uh, insurance claims on my restaurants, but... Your face appears to be flambéed. I don't think that's natural. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not a fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. He, he seems angry with us. He seems really angry. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, 
But for all of us, except for me, don't you, do you ever think I've never failed at anything before? Like, before he was, uh, working with KFC, he was a terrible businessman and was actually a lawyer? Colonel of Truth. That's exactly what I think. Well then, think again. How wasn't always the man you see before you, enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated? I used to deliver babies, well, Colonel of Truth. Handsome, true, <laughs> handsome, sure. I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. He was born with white hair? I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetri ob obstetrician. Oh my god, are they actually going to talk about that? By the way, my grandfather was born with white hair. We like to say he was born old. I was passionate about justice. <laughs> and I failed as a lawyer. Colonel is truth! I was passionate about livestock, but I failed as a mule handler. That one is especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I can't believe they're actually doing this! <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, I, I didn't know. I didn't know either. <laughs> Mules were cruel. I didn't know. I just, you know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together. Which is true now. But it hasn't always been. Oh no. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. His eyes catch fire. And his eyebrows go away. <laughs> and suddenly, his entire body is on fire. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp, crisp white suit can be proud what of. What is with his expressions? Did you just see I that? I don't know, but he was sweating and looking very, uh, like, nervous. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Like shooting a man. Yay! I shot a man! <laughs> Yay! I want to kill someone too. He didn't it kill him. Sounds he like just fun. winged him. <laughs> just your moment, girls. Intimate. You're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Hi, guys. Oh my god. Battle scarred from the night before. You prepare for the worst. It's the Spork Monster. Borco. It is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back, and after the whole fight to the death thing, maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but... I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you, and I apologize. I know what it's like having to always look over your shoulder. I don't have shoulders, but you know... Monster problems. Am I right? Aw, thanks, Borko. I'm glad there are no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. Actually, we defended a lot. We fought most of the time. I know you're. I know that you're strong, and cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I, I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. Is he the dead student? This is just like Hogwarts. Every fucking year someone dies and they just keep sending kids back. I don't believe it. You were a human once? No, I was a janitor. Well, no, I, I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student. Was he Sprinkle's son? Until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. This really is Hogwarts. Yeah, it really is. He's turned into a ferret. A magic spell book? Precisely! I procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef, and you shouldn't rely on such dark, evil magic. 
No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. It sounds like there were some bad cooks in the kitchen of life, Captain Crouch. Together, ah, together, I am sure we can defeat them. <laughs> together, ah, I shall defeat them. You can sit in the back and watch. Whoa. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Whoa, that's going to be the end of this episode. We have to go to his hideaway. We're going to do his hideaway. A personal invite? You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about we'll to find out. We'll find out next episode. Bye. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>